Hi, my friends. Welcome back. It's Miss Clap Rich coming to you again from my very own home. It's a beautiful sunny day outside and I have a friend joining me again today. Look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? I actually saw one of these right outside my window just before I started recording this. Do you know what kind of animal this is? I bet you've seen it before. I'll read a poem that's on the tag here. Maybe it'll help you guess. It says, with his bushy tail, he'll scamper up a tree. The most cheerful critter you'll ever see. He's nuts about nuts. And he likes to chat. Have you ever seen a squirrel like that? That's right, he's a little squirrely. I bet you've seen lots of these around Alaska. So he's so cute and his name is Nuts. Seems pretty appropriate. So he'll be joining us today. And before we move on to our other activities, I wanted to add two more leaves to our thankful tree. If you haven't made one of these yet, um, you can go back to last week's videos and watch on Thursday, I believe it was when we made it. Um, so I am adding two more things I'm thankful for. My friends, even though you might not be able to see your friends at school, you can ask your parents if maybe you can call them or even ask your teacher for their contact information. They might be able to uh, give you a way to contact them. So there's your friends. And I wrote down healthy food. There's a lot of people in the world that don't have access to eating food that's actually healthy for them. Um, so I wanted to put that on our tree because I'm very thankful for that. And sometimes we don't even think about the fact that, oh yeah, not everybody has a lot of healthy food to eat. So gotta remember what we have to be thankful for. So I wanna start with a fun activity, kind of an active one, okay? I got these cute little cards in the mail recently and they're all about the importance of being mindful. We'll talk more about that on another video, but being mindful is just focusing on what's happening right at this moment and not worrying about all the other crazy stuff that might be happening. Just focusing on what's happening right now. And right now I'm talking with you and I really care about you. So we're going to do something fun together on here. It says, this says raccoon freeze. It all has an animal um, on each one, but let's do squirrel freeze just because nuts is joining us. Okay. It says wiggle, 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 and then freeze. Be as still as you can and don't move a muscle. Do you think we can try that? All right, I hope that you're watching this in your living room or somewhere where you can move. And if you're not, maybe you can do this later. But ready? So we're gonna wiggle, 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 and then we're gonna freeze and we're gonna stop and don't move a muscle. Okay, ready? Okay, wiggle, 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 wi
Your mom and dad have a bucket? Your sister and brother have a bucket? Your grandparents, friends, and neighbors all have a bucket. Everyone carries an invisible bucket. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and feelings about yourself. You feel very happy and good when your bucket is full and you feel very sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. So your bucket fills, it is filled with all your good thoughts and feelings. And if you're feeling really sad, then your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and here's how it works. You need other people to fill your bucket and other people need you to fill theirs. So how do you fill a bucket? Hmm. You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile, that fills their bucket. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things that make others feel special. When you make someone feel special, you are filling a bucket. Because remember, your uh, bucket fills, is filled with your good things, so you can help fill someone else's bucket with good things by being kind to them. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you say or do mean things, or even if you're just ignoring someone. That's being a bucket dipper. I think that's an important one to remember. Even if you're just ignoring somebody, you're thinking, well, I'm not being mean to them, but even just ignoring them, that makes them feel lonely and dips out of their bucket. A bully is a bucket dipper. A bucket dipper says or does mean things that make others feel bad. And you know what? We've all done that sometimes. Nobody, um, you know, is nice all the time. Unfortunately, there's times when we all say mean things and we need to remember not to dip into other people's buckets. Many bucket dippers have an empty bucket and they think that they can fill their bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping in to each other's buckets by what we say and what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your mom and dad. Why not tell them you love them? You can even tell them why. Your caring words will fill their buckets right up. Oh, I keep telling his mom that he loves her. <laughs> Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. If you practice, practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. And you know what? Before I finish this book, these are some ideas of how you can fill other people's buckets. But actually, the thing I wanted to mostly focus on today is how to help fill your own bucket so that you are able to fill up other people's. So how about we'll pause there because now you understand what it means to have a, an invisible bucket and tomorrow we can learn how to fill another person's bucket. But here, just for fun, before we do our craft, I was thinking about pretending like these are my, my invisible bucket. And here's Nuts in his little bucket. So his is pretty full and so is mine. I'm feeling pretty good. So we'll talk more about this tomorrow, but if I was to say something mean to Nuts, it would dip from his bucket. Would it go into mine and make me feel happier? No, it just gets thrown away. And, and Nuts starts to feel sad. 
but um, if you, you can, I can fill his bucket right up by saying nice things to him. So again, today, in order to fill someone else's bucket, you have to have some good things in yours. And the way yours gets filled up is by hearing good things about yourself, someone being kind to you, someone playing with you, but you can fill your own bucket too by doing things that make you feel good. So what I wanna do to do today is get a piece of paper and I'm about to write my name on the top and then we're gonna write down things that you can do to fill your very own bucket no matter what anyone else is doing around you. Even if people are being mean, even if people at home are kind of frustrated right now with being cooped up, you can do things that make you feel good and have your bucket full, okay? So I'm gonna write my name on the top. Right, Miss Clapridge. Okay, and then underneath it, I'm gonna write how to fill my bucket. Let's see, how to fill my, let's see if I can squeeze that in. There we go. How to fill my bucket. Got a little squished at the end, but it's okay. So just for fun, I'll grab a different color marker. And I'm gonna write down some things that I can do to fill up my own bucket. You might want even to look at your thankful tree. That might help you too. So you know what I love to do? I love to draw. I love to read. Those are things that make me really happy. I love to uh, sometimes watch TV. How about uh, play with my siblings? Um, and how about, you could put maybe spend time with people I love, but I know that sometimes when parents have to work or siblings aren't at home, I want you to be able to do things that you can do all on your own, even if you don't have anyone else at home, things that fill your bucket up. Because when you do something, um, you know, that you read and do something that makes you feel good, that adds to your bucket. You do some coloring that makes you feel good, your bucket gets even more full, and then you're able to be even nicer to other people around you. Should we add one more thing? I have drawing, reading, TV, playing with siblings, spending time with people I love. How about, I know a lot of my kids love playing with Legos, and maybe, oh, my favorite, going outside, that's my favorite activity. So, what I think you should do is keep this somewhere where you can see it. Keep it in your bedroom. Keep, you could hang it up. Um, you could keep it wherever it is that you are going to be able to look at it and see when you're feeling sad or people in your house maybe are feeling frustrated. You can say, you know what? I'm going to fill my very own bucket and do things that make me feel good. And even adults need to be reminded to do that, to take care of themselves. So um, I, I um, suggest to you, go outside today, do some drawing, do something that fills your bucket. And tomorrow we'll talk more about how you can fill other people's buckets, okay? So let's say goodbye, nuts. This was fun hanging out with you today and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. And please remember, I really, really care about you and you are very special exactly as you are. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.